Hello, my name is Fran Sands and welcome to MyBoxingCoach.com. Got an interesting question. How do you get away from close range? Um, and it triggered a lot of thinking. And I thought to myself, yeah, it's something we commonly talk about, exiting close range. And then I thought, actually, why don't we think of it a little bit differently and think of it as a, a repositioning rather than an exit? Because an exit sort of sows in your mind the seeds that I'm done, it's over. And I don't think we can ever afford to think like that. I think you always have to reposition with a purpose. So that purpose might be reposition to launch another attack, reposition to take a short break, to regather yourself to a couple of deep breaths before you, you get in, back in. But there's a reposition in anyway. So I've come up with seven ways to reposition yourself from close range. The rule that is common through all of these repositionings, these shifts of attack, and that's what I, the way I'm, I'm thinking of it. It's about shifting position to open up another attack. Keep the hands up nice and high. Whenever you're a close or mid-range, you are in such a danger zone, and it's all your hands have always got to be up high, always got to be providing defensive capability. First, number one. So we reposition in a straight line. Now, when I was a young boxer, and it still goes on today, you never, ever move away from an opponent in a straight line. I kind of, I agree with that, but I would qualify it a little bit differently. Never, ever repeatedly move away in a straight line, right? So we're in, in, in contact, in with the opponent, and I just move out there. A simple, simple straight line move out. If I continually do that, the opponent's going to wait, watch my feet. As soon as my feet go, they're just going to let go with a hook, either hand and I'm going to be taking shots. So don't do it over and over again. I'm about to give you six other ways of repositioning, so there's no excuse to do it over and over again. A neat way to make the move out in a straight line a bit safer, so it's that push off that front leg and you, you go out, is to duck at the same time, so you drop the head height. So you're moving the fixed position, but you're also dropping the head, so it's there. Okay, from there, one. Okay, straight line, exit, straight line, reposition. Secondly is the lateral movement. So this is just about moving from this centre line to either that line there or that line there. By the way, this drill pattern on the floor, I'll put a, I've put a link below so you can download this so that you know the measurements and stuff. So um, if I'm going to move this way, so I'm moving towards my lead leg side from there, up close, little step across, that allows me to work the backhand so I can let shots go up the centre of the line there. Lateral and across. If I'm moving this way, unless I switch stance from there, it's a little bit more awkward for me to use the lead hand. So if you're going to move towards your rear leg, use the shot first, so bang, and then we, we shift position. The final aspect of that, obviously, because I've moved there, I need to then do something to get this opponent back into a position where I can unleash with both hands. You've just seen what I've done, the pivot. So it's always nice. Bang, cross, pivot, bum, 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 bum. Cross, bang, pivot, bum, 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 bum. Okay? So when you do that lateral movement, add a pivot, it's always nice. Number three, diagonal movements away. Again, very neat. We can push out 45 degree line there. So you're working and you just push out. You see the, the line on the right hand side. There, boom. And we're pushing away at a 45 degree angle. When going that way, it's a bit more difficult to get the pure 45 degree angle. So just look to move back a little bit off this this lead line so it's there okay. we're still on this center line we've done the same principle but we've moved from mid-range to long range okay reposition number four shift of attack number four at close range we use the pivot and then go straight line so lead hand work boom 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 pivot straight line one, two, three, pivot, straight line. 
and obviously the mechanics of that pivot. If I want to pivot this way, I push off that leg. I don't let my body weight travel forward. The inclination, particularly amongst beginner boxers, is to allow that to happen. Push across, keep the body weight central, and then push out. Always nice when you're going that way, hook. So you've combined hook, pivot, straight line with the jab. When we go this way, it's a push off this leg and allow that leg to go round so it's there. And you kind of collapse back onto that leg. So it's one, two, pivot and straight line. Obviously, you can, that's combining two skills. You can combine three by doing your pivot, duck and straight line. You can do all of this, so you can drill all this stuff. It's all stuff you can practice on a grid like this. Repetition, then to use on the bags or whatever, shadow or sparring. Number five, retreat to attack. I've done a full video on this, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail. I'll put the link below. I'm looking to come onto this line here. So you've got an opponent who's putting weight on, you push back, you give ground in order to give yourself room to deliver more vicious hooks. You've opened up the gap and the same there. One, two, three, okay? So to push off the front leg, look where my foot is. My foot will come back to this line, there. And there, yeah? Retreat to attack. Number five, one we've done quite a lot of, the stand switch, up close. I'm gonna stand switch this way, so to push off that leg, other leg goes round. So you're, you've moved into the, into the safe zone on this side. Opponent's still here. You're unleashing shots. Then you can, you can do what you like. Then you can dance away, move away to longer range. Same on this side. You simply push off this back leg and you kind of go southpaw. Boom, 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 boom. Push off this leg. That leg goes across there. So as you can see, I'm in a stance, uh, southpaw stance on this line. I've still taken myself from there. I've moved to a lateral position to free up this rear arm to do some damage. The final one is something, number seven, is something a bit, a little bit different. At close range, I've stepped back to this line. So you can do this on your lead foot side. You can't do it on your rear foot side. Opponent is here. Roll. Ooh. Tripped over me foot. From here, roll. And then push across over there. So your opponent's here. You've actually gone past them on your lead foot side. Hands got to stay high. Because if you're moving towards a, uh, an orthodox boxer or a boxer with the same stance, you're moving in to their powerful rear hand. So make sure there, and then you've passed here. Opponents here, boom, boom, boom. Smack them on the backside. Um, so that's the pass. That's a really neat one. You can do that on the heavy bags. Give it a, give it a little go. There's seven ways to reposition, to shift the attack, to exit from close range, but for a purpose. So we reposition with purpose. Don't think exit because almost, it means that it's finished. It's never finished. Not until you're back in the changing rooms and no one's trying to punch you in the face. Um, okay, I'm gonna stop there. All of it can be drilled, so please give it a go. Have patience with yourself. Pick one of those elements in any given session and try and work that through, okay? Sign up, download your book, The Beginner Boxer Toolkit, that's packed with seven tools that'll give you a really um, well-defined way of structuring your boxing training. Otherwise, my name is Franz Sands. This is mybexingcoach.com.